Hi YouTube family, welcome back to today's video. We are going to be talking some October favorites. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining us today and please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified of any future videos I'm having. And please give me a thumbs up because that really does help my video get generated out there into YouTube land. This month has been such a whirlwind for me between moving and getting settled and then all the other stuff that's going on. I just feel like time is just lapsing forward way too fast. Don't forget that if you guys have something that you loved during this month that I need to know about, make sure you leave it in the comment section because I'm sure I'm going to want to check it out. First of all, I'm going to start with a little bit of clothing. Yes, I did. I started to buy clothing, you guys. This shirt right here is not a new shirt to me. It's just one that I finally can fit in. And if I can find it, it's a kind of a cold shoulder with a little bit of bling right here, um, long sleeve uh, t-shirt. And if I can find it, I will link it for you on Amazon. But this one right here, I got this sweater at Penny's and it's just such a yummy soft sweater. Has a little bit of detailing right here and then it's kind of a tunic, high-low tunic at the, at the hem right there. And this was a medium. I, I'm wearing a large these days, but this medium looked a little bit bigger than even the large did. So I picked up the medium. I just think it's so cute. This is by ANA. And I love those fashions from JCPenney's. I really like that line. So yeah, I'm really excited to start wearing some cute clothes again after all of this time. I just put these in my Sephora VIB sale recommendations, but I'm gonna talk about them again here because I feel like this is one of the best duo liners on the market and I think that this is a great value. This is the Tartiste duo liners and it, they give you a black and they give you a burgundy and they give you a brown. And I just absolutely love, first of all, I love how saturated this um, pen is and it's super fine. Really, really fine tip on the liquid part or the liquid pencil part. Really, really fine tip. It doesn't have to be gone over and over again one swipe, I'm done, which is great for my shaky hands. And I just really like that. And then on the other side, you get that um, long wearing gel pencil. And the reason that I like that so much in these other colors besides black is I like to do different colors in my waterline. And then I also like to smudge different colors underneath. So really have been enjoying that. And I love that for $20, you get three of them. This is a find from my friend, Melissa55. And that she found it from Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. This is from OGX and this is their Botifying Bamboo Fiber Full Big Hair Spray. Now, she said, um, Melissa55 said that she liked this better than her Kenra 25. I nearly fainted, you guys. I'm like, holy moly, hold the phone. I gotta find out. And you know what, you guys, I really do like it. Now, as far as the hold, I don't think it is quite as good as Kenra's. But I think that it is, it's like this far away from being as good as Kenra's. I really do like it. I love the smell of it. I love the volume that it puts in my hair as I'm using it. I love how long it stays. So I do really enjoy this. And I think it's probably one that I'm going to continue to purchase. And I have been using this Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Mist like crazy. You guys, when I moved from Washington to Utah, it was like somebody turned on the Sahara Desert inside my house. Not only that, but it's cold weather. So we've got our heater on and it's just like really, really sucking the life out of my skin. I just spray the crap out of my face and make sure that I use a lot of hydrating products. And this one is really good because it does help you have that dewy look through the day but at the same time, it doesn't like leave you feeling sticky. And I really like that about it. As far as sprays go, I wanted to mention this one. This is a illuminating setting spray from Cover FX. Now, I, I really like the one from L'Oreal that I think it's their glow spray or something like that. But this one right here is just a little bit above it. And I'll tell you what, when you shake this up, you can hear that there's a ball rolling around in there, which tells me that it's moving around little particles. When you spray it, you don't see any particles on your face. You just really see the luminosity to your face. So I really have been enjoying this. I'm about halfway through. At first, when I started using it, I thought, 
I'm just gonna use this up because I've had it for a long time and I don't want it to go bad. But now I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase this or not, but I'm gonna be trying some other drugstore ones and see if I can find a dupe for you guys. But in the meantime, this is a really, really good product if you've been looking for a fantastic illuminating setting spray. I had two foundations this time, you guys. Actually, I have a lot more foundations than that and I know I need to start doing foundation reviews and I'm going to, you guys. Last month, I told you about the Koki foundation. It's so good, you guys. I still feel like it's just so good. Um, but I did find these two this month. One is from Zoeva and the other one is from Soap and Glory and it's their kick-ass, and I don't know why they have to swear, but their kick-ass foundation. It is a really good foundation. I would say, yes, it does do that as far as performing the way that it needs to. But you guys, I think I prefer the Soap and Glory one. And I believe that this one, if it's not on sale, is 16. And the Zoeva, I want to say, is like 30 something or right around the 30 price mark. They both have pumps on them which I really enjoy but I will say that for some reason that Zoeva one I think I've used this like five times look how messy that is their lasting time is about the same I prefer the undertone of the one from Soap and Glory and I'll make sure that I link that or list it everything will be linked below as always the Zoeva one I am wearing that as my foundation today it's really really pretty you guys I really like both of them I like the finish, I think, just a little bit more on the Zoeva one and the way that it sits on my skin. I think that I really like the Soap and Glory one and the finish that it gives and the coverage that it gives. But as far as wear time, I would say that both of these are exactly the same. And I also think that the Zoeva one might be just a little bit more hydrating on my dry skin. The Zoeva one claims to have a natural luminous finish and then the Soap and Glory one claims to be all day wear, like 24 hour wear. Every now, time somebody says 24 hour wear, I begin to twitch a little bit because I know that that's not the case because if I'm going to bed, I ain't wearing my makeup. And the other thing is if I'm taking a nap, it still ain't gonna look like it did when I put it on. So definitely they're really long wearing, both of them, but I don't know about their claims as far as being super long wearing. Makeup Revolution came out with their Pore Perfecting Primer this is again they're trying to do patacha and you guys i do think that they did a good job i still think that elf is a little bit better though it has that same dimethicone feel to it it feels a lot like the elf one when you put on the tatcha one you have a little bit more you can almost feel how cooling it is and a little bit more of the skin loving ingredients in it it does do a good job on pore minimizing filling in the pores so you know makeup revolution is just kind of known for duping palettes and other makeup and stuff. I think they did a good job on this. And I think that if you can't get the elf where you live, if you can get Makeup Revolution and this new one, I think it's a really good choice for you to make instead of the Tatcha if you're trying to save a few dollars. I told you guys that I have come to a really dry climate and I don't know whether it's because there's more allergens here or what it is, but I wake up every morning and my eyes feel really dry and they look really red. But on the days that I wanna film or on the days that I'm going somewhere, I will use Lumify. If you guys have not tried this, I love this stuff. I heard about it from Pen, Penny from Penn Smith Skincare originally. And when I tried it, I was hooked. I think that I'm in love with this. I love what it does. I drop in each eye and my red eyes just within a minute are gone and your eyes are bright. They almost have a luminosity like the name says, Lumify. So if you really have somewhere to go and like you've been crying the night before or you've just had not enough sleep or whatever, like me with the allergies, try these out i think you'll really like them they're not that expensive and they seem to be lasting me a really long time so i'm really excited to be sharing that one with you as well i have two concealers to share with you guys today this one first is the one i'm wearing and this is from jcat beauty and it's the stay assurance water sealed zero smudge concealer and this is really way too light for me but i wanted to wear it today because it would show you guys how good it covers it covers so well and you need such a tiny bit. And that to me is a game changer all the way around. And it doesn't feel like it dries me out. When I have to put too much on my under eyes because I have wrinkles in there and fine lines, it's gonna get crepey and then it's gonna just look awful. But this stuff covers so good. As far as it being drying like that, I don't think it is. I like the texture of it so much. It lasts all day for me and it does last through all my 
menopausal power surges or whatever I get during the day. So I really have been enjoying this and this has five stars on Ulta. It's one of the reasons that I picked it up. Now I know everybody has been on the Catrice foundation drops and those are really good, but you guys, this is their new one drop coverage concealer. It is really super thin. I don't wanna pour that out. It's really thin and one drop does do the job. Okay, if you have super dark circles like I do, you might have to build this, but the nice thing about it is it's so thin that it will build on itself. So you put one layer on and let it set and then go back in with another layer and it's not gonna look cakey. I really like that about it. If you have barely any dark circles, you're gonna love this stuff because it's not gonna look dry underneath your eyes either. It says weightless coverage and full coverage and, and smear proof or sweat proof or whatever. So yeah, I really been enjoying that, this little teeny bottle and mine is in 020. I would say that mine, it's nude I think it is the color. I would say that mine's probably a little bit too yellow when I, when I got it. So I'm probably gonna go for a little bit different of a color, but really have been enjoying that one as well. I wanted to make sure that I, talk to you again about the Milani Most Wanted Lashes. I have been loving this on my upper lashes. This coats my lashes and they feel so soft when that dries down. It's not a crunchy mascara. It doesn't feel like that at all. I can go ahead and put a waterproof on top of it after they've dried and it still doesn't feel that crunchy. And I love that about a mascara. Now I will say that this isn't super, super long wearing. That's why I put the waterproof over top of it. But as far as building and it being voluminous and lengthening and defining all those good marks you want from a mascara, I'll show you the wand. There's nothing you know major about it. It's not got the curve to it or anything like that. But I really do like the formula itself. So I would highly recommend that one. I've been using it almost every day this month and love it. So I love the Milani eyeliners. I think they're so good. I have it in slate. I have it in a metallic like brown color that is so pretty. I have it in a metallic blue, which is my absolute favorite one. And I love wearing that in my waterline. And then I got a new one in plum. Now, when I first got this plum one, I was like, that doesn't even look plum. But I really do like it now because it gives a lot of depth on my bottom lashes. So there they are right across there. Two of these, the plum one and the slate one are the stay put formula and then these two are the metallic formula the brown one and the blue one but you guys i find that they perform exactly the same way creamy to the extreme but they will dry down and be very very waterproof or smudge proof i shouldn't say waterproof because lots of times nothing is ever waterproof but very smudge proof and i have these on at the end of the day when i'm ready to take my makeup off so i really love all of milani's liners but these ones with the gold um, lids and the tips on the bottom i think are just absolutely fantastic this is not an automatic liner though so if that bothers you this might not be one that you like i did also want to throw in a couple of highlighters you guys knew i probably had to do that this is from pixie beauty and this is called this is their glowy powder this is called wednesday and this isn't really like a highlighter. I'll tell you what I did with this today. I actually used this on my lips and I thought it was gorgeous um, on top of a liquid lipstick and then a gloss on top of that. So pretty, you guys. It's kind of coming across as having a lot of peach right there, but it has just, it's just pink goodness. I just love it. So I did wear it as a little bit of a cheek topper. And then I went in with Flexitarian from ColourPop, you guys. Everybody talks about this and I was like, can it really be that good? Um, it can be, and it's right there. And holy cow, this is one of their super shock formulas for their highlighters. I love their blush and their highlighters in this formula. Actually, I love the eyeshadows too. But wow, you guys, check that out. That is so pretty. I'm just like over the moon happy with that. Such a pretty formula. Lastly, I'm gonna show you something that I've had forever and I go back to using it this time of year because I find that with the dryness, I don't want my skin to look dry. And that's the, La the Lancome Absolute Powder. This one is in Absolute Golden and it is not golden. It is very pink. You, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. It's got a very pink hue to it, the finishing powder. But what I love about it is it doesn't give me a finish of super glow all it does is just give me this little bit of luminosity this little tinge of 
um, brightness and pink as you go along. It's just so pretty. They have a lot of different colors. This is the only color that I've ever purchased. It's the perfect color for my skin tone, just as a finishing powder. And when I say that, I mean dusting across the cheeks very lightly, dusting across the forehead, maybe the nose and the chin, and just the decollete, just a tiny bit. So it's not a lot of buffing of the powder. This is just a little finishing powder that gives you just a little bit of luminosity and a little bit of glow to your makeup. Just makes it kind of oomph up a little bit, if you know what I mean. Okay, you guys, that's everything for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you do like seeing monthly favorites. I am going to put right here somewhere the playlist for my monthly favorites so that you guys can go ahead and take a look at that. I have tons of them since I have over 300 videos on YouTube. I love you guys so much, you know I do. Please leave your comments below. I'd love to interact with you today. Have a great week or weekend wherever this is hitting you and I will talk to you in my very next video. Love you, bye-bye.